Hello everyone. My name is Wei Shi Yao and welcome to today's presentation of Frost Sky Stability Prediction. This project is mentored by Professor Simon Bullink. In recent years, countless researchers have explored a wide range of promising technical solutions and policy options to lower the environmental cost of energy produced from the sun, wind, biomass, and geothermal resources. Among all the research areas, the discovery and deployment of novel materials are critical to scaling any sustainable energy endeavor. And today, we're going to show you how we use data science and machine learning to speed up the process of identifying novel materials suitable for sustainable energy applications. Perovskites are highly efficient materials for solar cells due to their exceptional capacity for absorbing light and transporting electric charge. However, the largest hurdles in implementing them on a commercial scale are concerns regarding their relatively weak long-term stability. As data scientists, we are particularly interested in this topic mainly for two reasons. First, the synthesizability of perovskite materials is broadly governed by a clearly formulated numeric parameter called the thermodynamic phase stability. Second, it has been shown in a previous research that the calculation of the thermodynamic phase stability of perovskite materials can be approximated by the machine learning model. So beyond the success of the previous research, our projects deliver three exciting insights regarding the interdisciplinary application of data science. First, the success of this project proves that machine learning is not only a feasible solution, but also an elegant solution in this real world material science problem. Second, in an interdisciplinary application setting, in-depth data analysis is always crucial for transforming questions solvable in data science. Third, in this problem, 90% of the optimization comes from the feature engineering efforts instead of model tuning efforts. Our approaches could be divided into four parts. First, we use SVM, XGB, and GBDT, hopefully achieving a good balance between prediction explainability and accuracy slash precision. Second, we use borderline smooth algorithm to make synthetic data along the decision boundary, which maximizes the expressiveness of the minority class during training. Third, we split perovskite materials with similar chemical compounds into different subgroups because we wanted to test our intuition that similar perovskite materials behave similarly in terms of stability. Fourth, we assemble a series of feature selection and model fine tuning process into a machine learning pipeline to make better feature selection and to further boost the performance of the models. To summarize, we have three key challenges to address throughout a project. First, none of us comes from a material science background nor possesses any prior knowledge of the materials we try to study. Therefore, we had to spend a tremendous amount of effort in reviewing relevant literature and analyzing data to transform the questions, not just digestible, but also solvable for data scientists. Second, due to high data collection cost, we only had around 2,000 samples and only 500 of them belong to the positive class. And that pushed us to figure out ways to maximize the use of data by thinking out of box. Third, the baseline model we compared against has already achieved an F1 score as high as 0.88 and being that baseline means the problem is no longer a simple model selection problem. Instead, we had to force ourselves to create something that has not been tried yet. Looking back to the final results of the project, we would say the project was a success not only because we successfully built a pipeline that significantly increased the classification predictions results than the previous researches, but also because the project further confirms the interdisciplinary applicability of data science. The most exciting part of this project is that even though none of us come from material science background, the data science training we received equips us with tools to analyze and transform interdisciplinary knowledge into questions solvable in data science. More importantly, once proved to be solvable through machine learning, questions like this will continuously benefit from the recent advances, not just in model performance, but also in model explainability and prediction transparency. <laughs>